Hmm, red thing on my forehead. I think I've been itching. I think I might have gotten bit by a mosquito. Anyway, it's been 25 years since the Rodney King scenario. And in that 25 years, we've hardly seen any progress toward stopping police brutality, toward stopping the mistreatment of black people by police, by the complete double standards police have towards black people. Now, I understand that, yes, if you look at the statistics, uh, black people commit more crimes statistically uh, than a lot of their other racial uh, counterparts. But that's not a reason to treat anyone that's black as if they're going to be a criminal. Does black culture need to change yet? It probably should change. But so should police culture. And in these 25 years of all these protests and riots and media coverage, the only thing that we've gotten towards uh, taking care of this is now there are a number of police in certain police departments that are required to wear a body cam. Now, this is helpful, but this is like barely a millimeter step forward as to what it should have been in 25 years. It's obvious that this problem has been going on for long beyond 25 years, but I'm starting at that point because it was a major uh, historical thing here in the U.S. in regards to this issue. So... I mean, things that need to happen, okay? Psychological tests need to be done on those wanting to join the police force and need to be done on those who are already in the police force. And those that fail these strict psychological tests uh, should be out of there. Hell no, you don't get the job, and hell no, you don't get to stay at this job when you think that, um, when, when your reasoning for enjoying being a police officer is that which uh, you get a lot of power. If power is your reasoning, goodbye, get out of here. You should be wanting to join the police force so you can help the public. So you can be a public servant, so to speak. It also should be uh, the IQ requirements should be kind of almost reversed. Right now, in many parts of the country, I don't know if it's across the whole country, but in many parts of the country, many police forces require that someone has an IQ below a certain amount in order to be a police officer. The reasoning is, well, you know, they might get bored with a job. Well, that's tough shit if they get bored with a job. At least we have people that are competent being police officers. If people are moved in and out, cycled in and out of, of the police force, that's fine. We should encourage that. We should encourage people to cycle in and out of that kind of position. It shouldn't be something that, well, I'm going to make this Mike the career for the rest of my life. No, that shouldn't be the thing. That shouldn't be the reason why people join the police force. It should be because people want to help the public. They want to serve the public. That's what the driving force should be. And when it comes to some, uh, some sort of a job that's governmental, we can have those kinds of standards. You can't have that kind of standard in the private sector. We can't expect companies to, to be in, in business for things other than making money. But when it comes to a government job, yeah, yeah, we should be able to put these standards to, that says, no, you, 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 you should be wanting to do the public some good in your desire to do this job. I feel the same way about politicians, too. I think we should be doing some tests on politicians. Psychological tests, IQ tests. That might sound sick, but 
that's just my view on this. Police need to be trained better than, than, they, than they have been trained. They need to be trained truly on how to de-escalate a situation. And more psychological tests in regards to that need to be done because if people start to go into the mindset when they're tested on this stuff of, uh, well, no, I'm, I'm going to do this if this happens. Well, you know what? You're out of here. Goodbye, Mr. Officer. Go find some other job. One where you're not in some sort of managerial position and you're not in a customer service position because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. The problem here, though, is in these 25 years since the Rodney King scenario, these protests and all this shit that people have been trying to do hasn't done any good. And even if we have these, these ideas of what could improve the police department, even if we got all these ideas, we have it a perfect plan, none of these things are going to get implemented. It's all going to be the same thing over and over again until enough people care. Unfortunately, I think the only way that these issues are going to be brought up in a way that actually something gets done about it is if police are at least an eighth as scared of the public as the public is of the police. The public shouldn't be scared of the police. That shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't be th something based off of fear. It should be based off of respect. You know, our laws have to make sense too. Our laws need to be worked on as well. We have so many laws on the books that don't make any fucking sense at all. And it's, it, we, so many people have lost the spirit of why the laws were put into place in the first place. Um, and they just care about, well, we just need to follow the law because it's the law, because it's the law, because it's the law, because it's the law. It's the law. Okay, what's the reason for the law? Well, that doesn't matter. The law is more important than the reason for the law. See, that's a fucked up way of thinking as far as I'm concerned. And to me, police that can't discern between those things because they're too stupid, because we've made it so only stupid people can be police officers, that's a problem. But yeah, the only way that we're going to have any change is if the police feel under threat by the public. I'm not saying there should be more shootings because those are fucking awful. These police shootings are absolutely unacceptable. But I do think police need to feel some pressure. They do need to feel some, some fear of the public. Now, yes, think under that kind of uh, conclusion that I'm coming to here, um, things will get way worse before they get better. Absolutely. They will get worse before they get better. And it's a shame. It's a shame that we can't just push for real reform when it comes to the police. It's a shame we can't just talk about it and have things you know, done about it. But nothing's going to get done about it if we continue the same shit over and over again. It's considered insanity if you continue to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result than you get every time. So, change needs to occur. Change needs to occur in a lot of areas. Police culture needs to change. Sorry to say, black culture needs to change. But, and, you know, the truth is, one isn't going to change without the other changing. So, you know, all these things need to change. 
But most of all, you know, something needs to promote this change in ways that hasn't been done in the past. And if that requires that police be scared of the public, then so be it. No matter what, something needs to change. And if you want to discuss this and you have answers, um, other than saying that, well, they should people should just keep doing the same thing and eventually, magically, it'll change. Yeah, I'm going to be heavily moderating the comments on this video. And if that ends up being your answer, what I just said, where, you know, let's just keep doing the same thing, things the same way as we've been, yet yeah, your comment will get deleted. And if you s suggest, oh, uh, they should, it, they should, pe uh, people should just, just, shh, just take it. Yes, Amasa. If that's your answer, yeah, those comments will get deleted as well. You actually have to give an answer that is not representing insanity, which is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result than what is guaranteed that the result will actually be. So, let me know in the comments.